Hello everyone, today we will study the allergens and allergenic preparation. Allergens is defined as the substances that can cause an allergic reaction. Now what is allergy? Allergy is defined as the hypersensitivity to individuals which may be because of the improper activations of our immune systems. Here is the mechanism of allergenic reaction. So first time when anybody come in contact with the some antigens or we can say the allergens, our immune systems will become activate due to which there will be the formations of some antibodies. Now these antibodies will attach with the mast cells. Okay, this blue color is indicating the mast, uh, sorry, antibodies which is attached with the mast cells and these mast cells consist so many chemicals like histamine, cytokinin is there. So when any person come in contact with the antigens due to our immune system, formations of antibody will take place. Now this antibody will attach with the mast cell. Now at the second time when this person will contact, will come in contact again with these antigens. So now these antigens will combine with the that antibodies formed previously and attached with the mast cell. So this yellow color is indicating here that these antigens are combined with the antibodies. Now because of this combination antigen antibody reactions will be take place due to which this mast cells will break up and it will release the some granules and some chemicals like histamines, cytokinins and due to these chemicals there will be the symptoms of the allergy. There may be inflammations may be there, swelling is there, so many types of allergy symptoms may be there. So here we writing the mechanism of actions. So we can say there is two stage. First one is the primary stage and second one is the secondary stage. It is also known as the primary stage is also known as the sensitization stage. Okay. Initially antigen will invades the individual body due to which plasma cells produce large number of antibodies which is known as the immunoglobin. Now these antibodies attached with the mast cells in the body tissues. Okay. This is the primary stage. Then there is secondary stage in which when second time when individual come in contact with the same antigens, these antigens attach with the antibody immunoglobin due to which antigen antibody reaction will start. Due to this reaction, mast cell release the granules and powerful chemicals like histamines, cytokinins and because of these chemicals or we can say the chemical mediators, uh, symptoms of allergy will be occur. Now there are so many types of the allergies like inhalant, ingestant, contactant, injectant, infectant and infestant. Now what is inhalant allergens? These allergens which cause the allergy due to environmental factors like pollen, pets, house dust, mite, mites and molds may be there. Okay, this type of allergy uh, may be from the nose or from by the our respiratory system okay somebody some peoples have the allergy from the pollens pets how house dust so uh, various pollens are there allergens are there due to which this inhalations allergy may be there now second one is the ingestant allergy and now some peoples which have the food allergy these are the substances which may be taken into the body by the mouth or through the digestive system. So somebody have the food allergy from the, they don't like paneer, there may be the allergy of the milk and some have the allergy from the potatoes, uh, some food colors are there. So we can say that because of the food stuffs, the allergy uh, occur is known as the ingestant allergy. After that contactant allergens is there, any substances that produce manifestations or hypersensitivity at the site of skin or other mucus. For example, poison, cosmetic, detergents, fabrics and dyes may be there due to which the contactant allergy may be there. Here is the poison sumac, poison elder, poison dogwood. 
which consists the urosiol urosiol is a phenolic component which is the poison nature of these poisons dogwood elders and sumac is because of the this urosiol then injectant allergens the injections due to injectable preparations and or by the insect cause allergy in a hypersensitive person allergy condition is known as the injectant allergy here best example is the penicillin injections liver extracts antitoxins glandular products bees hornets wasps may be there after the infectant allergens various living microorganism and bacterial metabolism waste are considered as the infectant allergen for example bronchiate bronchiitis which is caused because of the some microbial wastes in the respiratory system due to which asthma may be there some respiratory problems may be there so infestant allergens it is the manner somewhat similar to infectant parasitic organism may sensitize the human body for example hookworms tapeworm pin worms uh, thread worms and dermatophytes are there now allergenic extract these are the extracts these extracts are the sterile solutions which is prepared from the allergens like pollen molds animal dander's food dust insects they are basically used for the diagnosis and treatment of the allergic diseases now what should be the ideal characteristics of the allergenic ex extracts it should not be contaminated with the harmful substances it should be defined in terms of specific potency it should be stable each batch of allergenic extract must be sterile and it should be safe for human now if we talk about the preparations of allergenic extract so the material to be extract must be ground or subdivided in order to effect the efficient extractions of the allergens okay first of all we have to grind grind means we have to convert that raw material into a small pieces in the granules or in coarse form household blenders or small plant mills can be used for the dried materials while juicer or food grinders can be used for those containing much more moisture okay then many allergenic substances including all pollens should be defatted before final extractions ether and petroleum ethers are commonly used for the defatting process and why we are doing the defatting process because due to defatty defatinations we can obtain the clear a clear solutions of the extract and it will also remove the irritants found in large amount in sub substances for example coffee tea cotton seed pepper mustard ginger etc then selected source material is extracted in the buffer solution and time durations may be from 2 to 48 hours depending on the standard operating procedure after completions of the extractions the mixture is clarified by coarse filtrations then extract is concentrated by the evaporations of the filtrate then the processed extract is sterilized by the filtrations and for this purpose cellulose membrane filters are commonly used then prepared extract must be stored under conditions which enhance the stability including the use of stabilizers preservatives optimum storage conditions and freeze drying these are the buffer solutions like buffer saline coca solutions buffer saline consists sodium chloride monobasic potassium phosphate dibasic sodium phosphate and hydrous hydrous and phenol crystals whereas coca solution consists sodium chloride phenol crystals sodium bicarbonate and water for the injection so these are the most widely used buffer system in which we can prepare the allergenic extract now it is standardization of the allergenic extract so the standardizations of allergenic extract depend on the two factors which we should consider for the standardizations purpose first one is the selections of the reference extract first of all we have to select the reference material okay 
whatever the extracts we are going to be take for that we have also we should also have the reference material then selections of the assay method to find out the potency to find out the potency of the extract and then that potency we can compare with the reference material if now there are so many units which are used uh, for, to determine the potency of the allergenic extract like weight by volume protein nitrogen unit that is pnu allergy unit that is au biological unit bu this au and bu widely used in the united states and europe and basically it consists the skin test whereas in these units there is no skin test and they are worldwide commonly used in india it is the same units are also used in india but in usa and in europe these units au and bu are commonly used and it is basically for the skin testing okay in india drug controller of india control the allergenic preparations manufacturing of the allergenic preparations and other nodal agencies are also there which control these uh, manufacturing of the allergenic extract so to prepare the allergenic extract all the manufacturer units should follow the gmp norms then we already talk about the unit of the allergenic extract like weight by volume and pnu that is protein estimation unit protein nitrogen unit okay and electrophoresis method that is the sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis electrophoresis protein profile is commonly used to comparing the quality of the antigens with the reference material in the different batches now there are three general methods which are commonly used to estimate the potency okay first one specific allergens in extracts are compared to those in the reference standard by the immuno electrophoresis method so this immuno electrophoresis method we already talk about this this one sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis method so so it is here it is also saying that immuno electrophoresis electrophoresis method is using now this two system bioassay method two system bioassay methods that which is using in the usa and the europe okay these are basically for the skin test and this practice widely used in the usa and europe after that radio oligosorbent inhibitions that is rast inhibitions it is widely used to evaluate the allergenic extract it is not for the skin testing okay it is the main method of comparing different batches of standardized allergenic extract with the reference standard so because allergenic extracts are not standardized completely so appropriate doses for immunotherapy must be determined clinically the initial dilutions of the extract starting dose and progressions of the doses must be determined carefully and all the allergenic extracts should be refrigerated at 2 to 8 degrees celsius and freezing should be avoided because due to freezing there may be degradations of the extract so it is all about the allergens and allergenic preparations thank you very much